Morning everyone. Today we're going to be talking to you about how the electrics work in a Volkswagen California T6.1 and also the T6. My name's Will and welcome to California Time. So let's do some basics first then. The California has got three batteries. It's got a starter battery, so the one for the main 12 volt, just like a car would have, that's under the bonnet. It's also got two leisure batteries. They're both 75 amp hour. There's one under the passenger seat and there's one in the back. Uh, I'll show you where those both are. Now it's really important to remember that because different functions in the California use the different batteries. You don't need to worry about switching them over, switching them on or anything like that. It's all done itself, but it is important to know. And the basic rule of thumb is that anything which is kind of driver's seat forward tends to be from the 12 volt battery for the starter motor and everything else. So when you use the dash vents, uh, the cigarette lighter socket in the front, anything like that tends to come from the battery which is under the bonnet and that's the main one for the starter motor, so not your leisure batteries. Anything which you use from the back tends to come from the leisure batteries. So all of the lighting, the USB sockets in the back, the cigarette lighter sockets in the back, cigarette lighter socket for the roof, uh, the heater uh, that we've got in here as well, that uh, runs off the leisure batteries too. Uh, the fridge is only electric fridge, it doesn't run off any gas, uh, so that works off the leisure battery as well. Uh, things like the hob, the starter on the hob, so when you click that button to ignite the gas hob, that doesn't use any power from anywhere at all, so that's, that's always going to work regardless of your leisure battery condition. Now the California has got an electric hookup point, this is a 240 volt, it works off a normal commando socket, uh, it's like this one. Uh, so this is a normal hookup cable. It's located on the back here, so all you do is you open the flap up. You can see there you've got your commando connector. And the way that you put this in is you pull the top of your uh, commando plug open, you slide it into the top there, and then push it all the way in, and that's it done. So that's how you put the hookup into the, into the van. Now pulling it out, you do not just pull it straight out. There's a blue tab on the side here that you have to press down with your thumb while you then pull your hookup cable out and then you can close it like that and that's it done. This one's a little bit old, hence why it stays open. Usually they snap back themselves. So that's how you use the electric hookup on the California. So inside the bottom of the California cupboard, if I just open this, you'll see in here that there is a on master on off switch now that on off switch is specifically for the hookup so if you imagine the socket on the side goes straight into the bottom of this and then anything else which i'll talk about in a second around the 240 volt side of the van comes off the back of this master switch now it's a bit confusing because on it you can see that at the moment it's up and it says on, but it's in red, and the red indicates that it's live. So it's a little bit different to what you might expect. Usually red means stop or off, but in this case, it definitely means it's uh, live. So if I then push it down, that's now says zero off and it's green. Now when it's in the off position, it won't be charging your le leisure batteries. It's completely isolated the van from that outside supply. So if you want to charge your leisure batteries, you have to have this in the on position. So under the back seat of the California, uh, the uh, second leisure battery is in that cupboard there. And you can see there's a little screw at the top there that you undo, that you just need a coin to undo that. But you do need to take out this rail, which holds in on the T6, it holds in this adjustable uh, deck so it's a little bit of a faff to get to you should never need to get to it anyway uh, but that's how you do it you take the rail out then you can open that up and then that's where your leisure battery is inside just while i'm in the back here the other thing that's useful to know is that there is a 12 volt socket in the back here runs off the leisure battery uh, and again that uh, allows you to have a, another fridge or anything 12 volt related that you might want to carry with you and keep it 
in the back uh, behind the rear bench. So in terms of the second uh, leisure battery to show you, this is the uh, one which is underneath the, uh, uh, the passenger seat. So as you can see on the end of the kitchen, there's a 240 volt UK style socket that gets powered directly from the hook up at the back. It's nothing to do with the inverter uh, or anything like that, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, that comes straight off the 240 volt at the back. And then on the T6.1, you've got two USB sockets, whereas on the T6, you've got a cigarette lighter socket there. You'll see as well that on the uh, 6.1, where the inverter used to be, which was down here in the T6, it's not there anymore. And uh, I'll explain why, because if we look over on the passenger side, on the side of the seat, you can see right there that there's an inverter socket. If I open that up, you can see that it's actually a multi-use socket as well. So you've got a UK style socket as well as a Continental in there. The power of the inverter also went from being 150 watts on the T6 to 300 watts on the 6.1. Uh, so that's really helpful, works off the leisure batteries. Uh, and uh, obviously you can plug normal domestic appliances in there. You need to be really careful, obviously it's only 300 watts, uh, but uh, at least you can uh, charge your phones or laptops, those kind of things. Um, it also stays in that position once you've rotated the seat as well, so it does just sit there. In terms of the other little hidden gems of the electrics on the uh, T6 and T6.1 California, there is actually a hidden uh, uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter socket just underneath the uh, bench seat there um, and there's actually a cup holder there as well you're never going to use it because the bench is in the way but it's a hangover of uh, the fact that the California is actually based on a Caravelle interior so there is a 12 volt socket there you can see there we've just put a little USB set of chargers next to it to make some use of it but it is there and it is quite useful so in the 6.1 uh, you've got a normal cigarette lighter socket next to the cup holder. You've got two USB-C uh, ports there for charging. They also do the uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the stereo. And if I come at the top here as well, uh, there's another 12 volt socket on the top of the dash in case you wanted to use something which plugs in, you need to have it on the screen or anything like that. And that is it for the interior sockets. As I said, there's one upstairs uh, for the uh, um, roof compartment, uh, when you've got the pop top open, there is a 12 volt socket up there if you want it. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, quite a lot of connectivity in here and quite a lot of uh, sockets if you want them. On the 6.1, you'll see the control panel here. Uh, you can see uh, just here, that little indicator shows you that you're plugged into electric hookup and that stays on whether the screen's actually on or not. And then here you can see uh, we've got a charging rate of 4 amps going into it at the moment, uh, 5 amps now, and 13.4 volts going in. This little chart here shows you uh, what, kind of, uh, what kind of charge is in the battery at the moment, and it gives you an estimated amount of runtime of greater than 60 hours. We've not got the fridge or anything else on at the moment, so that's probably why that's as high as it is. I've just unplugged the hookup for a second because I wanted to show you something clever in terms of how this charges. So uh, you can see here that uh, it now says minus one amp. That's because I've unplugged it and uh, we've got some lights and things on in the back. So it's obviously starting to draw a little bit of current. But if I uh, swipe across, you can see it says max charge there. So if I start the engine now, uh, you will find that it doesn't actually start charging. Um, it's actually uh, drawing a bit more current uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's not, not actually sorting itself out and it, it's equalizing the batteries that's why it's just drawing a bit of current there. Um, so it's not actually charging and that's because that's because as standard it only charges to 80% um, without you selecting something different. That's to try and save fuel, it uh, saves uh, a kind of strain on the alternator on the engine and everything else to 
to do that. Um, 80% is good as well for keeping good battery health rather than fully charging them all the time. But obviously there are times when you want to charge it fully. Uh, so the way that, and I should say that when it's doing its 80% thing, it only charges the batteries when you get the regen regenerative braking. Uh, so effectively when you let off the accelerator and the vehicle's just coasting down and slowing down, that's when you'd see that figure there go into positive. It's really clever. Um, now, if I swipe across, and I'll hit max charge in a second, but you can probably see where the revs are at at the moment. If I click max charge now, you can probably hear that it's just increased the rev slightly. If I go back up to here, swipe across, you can see now it's gone positive, 25 amps, 14.7 volts, and now it will charge to 100%, regardless of whether the car's braking, whether it's being driven, um, or whether it's stationary like this, you can see that it's pumping 14.8 volts, 19 amps into those batteries, so it will fully charge them now. Uh, and then if you want to turn that function off, you can go in, turn max charge off, and then it does take a few minutes for the engine just to come back down to its normal idle uh, and just uh, settle back down again. But you can see it's immediately stopped charging and gone back to minus five amps. So, that's something important to know if you're heading to a campsite where you know you're going to be off grid for a while, three days or so, and you need that 100% battery, make sure you hit max charge as you're driving along, otherwise the batteries won't be at 100% when you get there. So just to finish this video off, just to show you the third battery, there it is underneath the bonnet, it's on the right hand side as you face the van. Um, if ever you need to charge it or anything else, obviously there's instructions of how to do so in the owner's manual. Just be careful, lots of electronics under here. Uh, jump starting and things, uh, you have to be quite careful in the order that you do things if you ever need to do that. Uh, but with a split system like this between the, uh, uh, the, the kind of leisure batteries and the starter battery, hopefully you will never need to do that. So that concludes this video on the Volkswagen California Ocean electrical system. Post any comments below really happy to hear from you. I hope you like this kind of content. If you do, then please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more California time.